So a little bit of a different uh, perspective this time, but uh, I'm out camping right now for over a week, roughing it a bit. I do this every year. Um, but I promised that I was going to try to keep to a schedule, and so here I am using my camera instead of my laptop to try and at least make sure that I film the video on time. Um, just a tip video this today. Um, and then after this gentleman detective subscriber special, he asked me to cover a certain topic. Um, you know who you are, you know what you wanted. So I will be covering that um, in the next video after this. Um, but I did want to cover this one now. and. Currently, I'm reading Visual Intelligence by Amy E. Herman. Um, I'm almost done with that book, and I'll do a book review about everything in there, too, at some point in the near future. But I wanted to cover a specific point in that book today um, for this tip video, and that is the acronym COBRA. C-O-B-R-A. And this COBRA... COBRA is an acronym she uses in her class to um, help her students to understand what things, uh, what steps are most important for observation. Um, the order in which you execute or, uh, COBRA is not necessarily the most important, um, as long as you remember the five steps, which is what COBRA, the acronym, helps you do. Um, so firstly is C which means camouflaged. So keeping an eye out specifically for anything that might not be what it appears to be in what you're observing. She uses art in her class um, to help people observe. And it works just as well as if you were observing people or a room or an area or a location or an object, whatever the case may be. Art works just as well, which I think is a brilliant way to um, approach observation and critical thinking. Um, and I'll cover that when I do the review, but... So starting with C, camouflage, so looking for anything after your initial observations, of course, that might be more than it appears, more than meets the eye initially. So something that could be camouflaged in what you're observing. O stands for one at a time. Um, so making sure that you don't miss the trees through the forest, how actually that I'm talking about something like that right now, um, one at a time. Don't miss the trees through the forest. So make sure that you observe one item at a time. You can't multitask. Your mind isn't built like that. You observe one object. Once that thing has been thoroughly observed, you move on to the next. Once that has been thoroughly cataloged, you move on to the next. One item at a time. One subject at a time. You don't try to uh, stress your brain out. You don't try to divide your attention. Focus on one thing at a time. B. Break. Um, in any kind of critical thinking, taking a break is important. Your brain, when you focus, you get this sort of tunnel vision. And that causes your high critical thinking uh, faculties to go directly to the problem at hand. But you lose, I believe it's about 80% of the rest of your brain capacity. Because that's all your unconscious thinking. When you take a break, though, you're you open up that 80% to look at the problem. You get to enjoy a different environment, which can help you to approach the problem from a different perspective. Um, and both of these things can open up more of your brain capacity, more of your faculties to focus on the problem at hand. So taking a break. Um, that can be anything from just uh, stepping away from the problem, playing a game, reading a book, Finding a new environment to let yourself rest in, meditating, uh, going to your mind paths, anything like that. Anything that can help you to realign your expectations. And that goes into R, realign expectations. Um, so C-O-B-R, realign expectations. So trying to, once you've made all your observations, trying to approach the observations from a different perspective. From the perspective of the person in question. From the perspective of another person who'd be interacting with that person. 
from the perspective of a manager to that person, from the perspective of a customer to that person, from the perspective of the fly on the wall. Just give yourself a new perspective, realign your perspective, realign your expectations, and see if that gives you a new, um, a new outcome, a new set of data that you can work with. See if that helps you come to new conclusions, new observations. And then finally, ask. Ask someone else to look at the piece with you. Ask someone else to make observations with you. See if they see the same things you do. See if they see any flaws with your reasoning. See if they see anything that you're missing. See if their perspective is different. See if that helps you get that realigned perspective, realigned expectations. Um, so those are the five steps to COBRA. Uh, and that's what I wanted to share with you guys today. thought it was a brilliant way to look at um, observation. It's definitely something I'm going to be using as well. Um, that's what I wanted to cover, and I hope you enjoyed. Again, Gentleman Detective, keep an eye out for the next video because it's going to be dedicated to the question you asked. Thanks for watching, and have a good day.